Hello, hello, good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? Well, there we go. Perfect. Everything is working. I love that. That is my favorite. How are you guys doing this morning? All right. Have that hang out like that. Good, good. Got my coffee. There we go. Now we're set. Now we're ready to do some yoga. Are you ready to do some yoga? Look at this another nice. Nice day outside, maybe a little gusty. I just want to highlight this outfit. Shout out to Karina for um, encouraging me to buy some funky leggings. These have beluga whales on them, which in the yoga world would be called my spirit animal, but it's really just, I think, my favorite animal because uh, they're always smiling. <laughs> they're just so damn cute, so playful. And a nice whale. So there you go. Hello. Oh my gosh, who is with me? Doreen? Doreen, so good to have you with me. Welcome, welcome. Oh, and Karina, right? Look at this outfit. This is so cute. There's a little bit of green in the legging and green in my shirt. Anyways, okay, cool. Well, welcome everyone. That's my. <laughs> I feel super cute this morning. That's what it is. And so I love it. So that's what's shaking, that's what's happening. So welcome to my at-home yoga studio where there's things like a puppy dog that might walk in the screen at some point. You're crawling under the table right now, making her little den. Things probably like the dishwasher will be unloaded in a bit, or even the news on in the background if you really listen carefully. So if you've got distractions at home as well, kudos to you for making some time to make uh, some time for your mat, for your yoga practice, for all of that good stuff. So, um, yeah, so check it off. Be proud of yourself. Encourage yourself with that already. All right, so to start off, I say start off in a position that you can start to connect in with the body, um, that you can start to notice the breath in. So whether that is seated, I like to be seated because I feel like I can engage a little bit more um, with the camera and give some better cues, but I actually love... Like if I'm doing a practice, I love to start laying down. I can feel my spine connecting in with the floor. Um, just a little bit better body awareness. You can close your eyes. Um, it just kind of works. So any position that works for you, even if it is seated, it doesn't have to be cross-legged. Whatever is comfortable. So even with like a knee up or like a knee extended, whatever works. Be comfortable. And then, like I said, let's start to notice into the body. So, how are you feeling this morning? You got any tightness? Any sore spots? Did you have a good sleep? Mm, is your body still just waking up? Or have you maybe been up for a little while? Just start to notice all those shadow areas, I like to call them, because they're important. Just noticing if you're tight in area is one thing. You don't have to be harsh on that area, like, shoulder, why are you so tight this morning? And give it guff. Um, you can just be like, oh, my shoulder is tight. Okay, well, what else do we got? I see you, shoulder, I acknowledge you. Let's move on, what else? And just building up some simple awareness to the body. And so speaking of that, in whatever position you have found yourself in, let's roll those shoulders back and down. So even if you're laying down, let's create that space that opens up through the collarbone and allows you to connect in and take a bigger, big breath. So let's start out with one of those. Breathe it in nice and big. Inhale. And exhale, let it out. <sighs> Take like another one of those, seeing if you can breathe into the abdomen, starting to activate into that diaphragm. So really taking a big breath in. And on the exhale, let's slow it down. Adding a little bit of length to that breath. So continue working with that breath, breathing it in, engaging through the abdomen, and exhaling nice and slow, adding length to the breath. If you choose to breathe audibly, it's a really wonderful thing. I love to silent my exhales um, because the hearing an exhale tells your brain that it's okay. And so it's even if you are stressed and your shoulders are shrugging up, if you hear someone else's exhale, uh, your shoulders will probably come down at least maybe a little millimeter. It might not be like that huge release, 
um, but is a really powerful tool, especially if you have kids, if they're freaking out. Start to just take a couple of big inhales and some audible exhales, and it'll make a little bit of a difference. I can't say that it'll be a miracle worker. I mean, there's so many other factors going on in that. But it's really cool how the body responds to things like what you hear. And that big exhale breath stimulating that parasympathetic nervous system, that rest and digest side of things where cortisol isn't produced, that stress hormone isn't produced. That's a little bit of science in with our yoga this morning. All right, so if you've scanned through the body, you've now worked on some awareness of the breath and we're starting to breathe a little deeper, maybe breathing into that big belly breath or that diaphragmatic breathing. Let's take a little moment, maybe setting an intention. And so what brings you to your mat this morning? What are you hoping to get out of your time? What is your purpose for this hour-ish of class that we'll do together? I'm just starting to build in that practice of, okay, what is my intent? What am I here for? I love to close my eyes as I said it. Take a little moment. If nothing comes to mind, mine lately has been finding joy. So through my poses, enjoying it in, or enjoying the challenge of it. Maybe you're working on some strength or you need to gain some flexibility or a little bit more movement or you're just checking a little fitness off your day. That's totally fine. In a little moment, let's smile. Smiling at ourselves, a little self-love action of physically smiling, always helpful. And let's seal all of that in with a nice big breath. So one more, breathe it in. Let it out. And let's start to wake up the body. So however you found yourself, Wiggle into fingers and toes, maybe rolling wrists and ankles. Beautiful. Taking some movement. If you had all morning to wake up, nothing rushing you out of bed, what kind of movement would you take to wake up? So take a little moment and explore that, whether you're seated, if you're standing, maybe let's make your way down onto the mat. And if you're seated, let's roll on back and join anyone who has found themselves on the ground. So, rolling back and down. I like to start with my knees bent, my feet planted. A, that connects my low back in towards um, the mat, and I can feel that little connection a little better. I always get a couple of cracks and pops and adjustments. And it just feels better. So sometimes starting right with your legs extended long, you'll have that little arch, and you might have that openness created through the front line of the body. So roll those shoulders back and down, nice little tuck of the chin. Let's take that good morning stretch, reaching those arms up overhead, nice big inhale, really reach. So nice and tall, feel all of that length you can create through the fingers, maybe through the underarm, keep that chin nice and tucked. And exhale, just drop the arms down, feel the body kind of melt in towards the mat. Let's take one more of those nice big inhale, reach up overhead. If you want a little more now as we're starting to wake up that fashion, you can extend the legs, maybe even point through the toes, really reach. You can interlace fingers and flip palms up. That feels good on the shoulders for some people. Finding all of that length you possibly can and if your legs are extended long, maybe you're noticing that arch of the back, that low back pressing up off the mat. That's okay, accentuate it, keep that big stretch. And exhale, release, soften, hug the knees in towards the chest, feeling that nice counter to the legs being long, low back is really pressing in towards the mat. Now, take a little rock from side to side, ah, give that low back a little massage, and maybe you notice that more into the shoulders or along the spine. Ah, it's just a nice way to wake up the back, wake up the spine. It feels so good. This has become one of my favorite things. This is cat cow. Oh, my favorites right now. Beautiful. All right, let's find our stillness. Let's bring the hands to the back of the legs and start to extend the feet up in towards the air, up towards the ceiling. Knees can be bent. That is the whole purpose of knees is to bend and separate the legs. So if you've got really tight hamstrings, feel free to hang out here with bent legs. And then maybe as we hold and get into it, you can start to lengthen and deepen a little bit more. But if the legs never go perfectly straight, that's okay. There's no report card at the end of this class. 
It is really you listening to your body and what does your body need. At the beginning of class, my knees are always way more bent than at the end, but it's fun to kind of journey into flexing the feet, pressing up through the heels, starting to lengthen through that back line a little bit more. Notice, are you starting to roll onto the top of your head? And can you make that spine nice and long and bring that gentle tuck of the chin back? Take a nice big inhale, breath, and lengthen. Getting super tall and use that exhale to pull the belly button in towards the spine. So a little tightening of the core, a little engagement of the muscles. You'll feel that through that low back. That low back should feel nice and planted in towards the mat. So if you're ready for a little more, you can play around with releasing the hands, using some of those lower abdominals to keep the legs floating up in the air. You can even tuck the hands under the sit bones ah, to keep that low back pressing in. So let's start a little bit of movement here. Let's start just walking on the ceiling, taking a couple little steps. At any point, you're welcome to bend your knees to make it more gentle. So you can do the little wiggle here. This is going to start to activate into those hip flexors. So whether your legs be completely up towards the ceiling, a little bent, wherever works for you. Just start to feel that little warmth through the hips, maybe through the core. You can still be hanging on to your legs here too, if that makes it easier. If you still want that lengthening um, through the hamstrings, if you don't want to bend the knees, but you want to make it a little easier on your core, here's a great gentle way. If you want to bring it up a notch, let's bring our hands up towards the ceiling as well. And let's add a little wiggle in here as well. So you can keep it small, or you can go really big with the arms. Building this up, feeling that heat, so you're probably feeling it starting to warm up now. Keep it going. Let's do three more big breaths worth. So whether you're moving fast or slow, it doesn't matter. There's one breath done already. Let's take another one. Nice inhale. Use that exhale, engage the core. And our last breath to completion. Let's try to keep moving. Big inhale. And exhale, nice and solid. Keep moving to the end of that breath. Excellent. Bring your arms down. Plant the feet. And drop the knees side to side. Windshield wipering to release. The sun is out. No, my screen is so super bright. No, that's great. It's the opposite of all the dark screen ones I've had. So that's nice. Excellent. Feeling that little bit of warmth through the hips. Excellent. We'll find our stillness. Plant the feet. Maybe you wiggle those heels a little bit closer to the sit bones. And make sure that your knees are in line with your hips and your feet are in line with your knees. So your knees aren't flopping open or falling inwards. We've got that good hip distance apart at the feet. Take a nice big inhale. Let's lengthen through the side. So pulling the head up slightly. Exhale. Pull the core in. Belly button towards the spine. Maybe even a little engagement of the glutes. Let's press into the feet, lifting the hips up off the ground. Just starting nice and easy. Maybe you've got a little bit of a hover, a couple of inches there. Nothing too crazy, starting to feel the legs um, start to activate and engage. If you want a little more, you can really squeeze those glutes in or bring those hips up a little higher. If you want more still, you can be reaching the hands towards the heels. There's no expectation they come to touch. That motion, that pulling down of the hands, actually just lifts and opens up the heart. So keep holding here. Let's take a nice big inhale, remembering to breathe. Exhale, press into the feet nice and strong. Maybe you come up to more of that 80, 90, or max range that you've got. You can really press into your hands to help stabilize. Keep that chin nice and tucked, protecting the neck, pressing into the shoulders. So good. Keep holding. Feel that nice little burn. And let's exhale, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Feeling that melting into the mat sensation. Nice little massage along the spine. So good. Landing it all. One vertebrae at that time. Excellent. Take a nice big inhale. Lengthen. And exhale. Let's engage. 
so nice and strong through the core. Press into those feet, lift the hips up, give those glutes a nice little squeeze, and let's roll the weight into our heels now. So maybe you're even lifting the toes up off of that, really press into the heels. You might even notice you come up a little bit higher on your shoulders. Just make sure that neck is okay. Pressing in, so pressing into your heels. Maybe you're noticing your hamstrings and your glutes, and maybe even your low back, the heels. Activate that back line of the body. So keep pressing in, and give it a nice big stomp. Excellent, so good. And then let's roll the entirety of our foot down, and come into our tippy toes. So you might need to bring the feet a little bit closer. If you're in your toe, then maybe you've noticed, oh my gosh, my quads, hello. This opens up the front line of the body, getting more into the toes. So keep pressing in, see if you can press each one of your toes into the mat, give them a little squeeze. Maybe lift your hips up a little higher, coming up nice and high, so much activity through the legs. Make sure the knees are still in line, not flopping out or falling in. Excellent, hold for one more big breath here. And exhale, start to lower down. You can plant the heels whenever works best for you. Coming all the way, nice and slow. Feeling that great little massage. Excellent. Let's hug the knees in towards the chest, taking that nice little counter to those beautiful bridge back bends. You can take a little movement, a little wrap from side to side. So good. I love that. All right, let's find our stillness. And if you want, you can keep the hands on the knees, maybe transitioning them more on top. Or just do some knee circles. Here, I'll do dealer's choice, tons of variations available. You can do knees in the same direction. You can do knees in opposite directions. You can do tiny little circles. You can do tiny circles that get bigger and do giant circles. You can just do giant circles. You can do it without your hands on your knees. You can do them clockwise. You can do them counterclockwise. Is there enough options for you guys yet? <laughs> the goal of this is really just to start getting some movement through the pelvis and depending on how big you do it, maybe you are starting to slowly roll onto one hip and the other. So you're getting a nice gentle spinal twist in. If you're looking for more intensity, the bigger your circles are and the farther you extend your legs, will add more intensity. So if you're doing this with straight legs, having your feet be big giant circles, that'll be more engaging on your core. If you're doing this with bent knees, that'll be a little bit more gentle. So if you're going one direction, let's switch and go the opposite direction. Just kind of use those same muscles, but in a slightly different way. Starting to feel maybe that little bit of openness of using those obliques if your knees are going off to the sides. Losing that low core as you extend them long. Just a nice, easy way. Warming up through the back, through those abdominals. And it's a little bit more fun than crunches. I mean, I'm not against crunches. I do a decent amount. But today is no crunches day. Beautiful. All right, let's start to make our circles a little smaller and coming back towards that nice and neutral. Taking a couple of rounds to get there. So good, find your stillness. And we're gonna make our way up to seated. So whether you wanna roll over onto one side and press yourself up, or if you wanna take a couple little rock and rolls, giving that back a nice little massage. Always an option. Coming all the way up into seated. Beautiful. So trying to sit cross-legged if that's an option for you. If not, you can extend a leg long or both legs long. However you find yourself, let's sit nice and tall. So take a nice big inhale, extend long through the crown of the head. Exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Take a nice big inhale and lengthen. And exhale, pull that belly button in towards the core. Just feel that little engagement. There's a little pelvic tilt that happens there. That's why I cue this in seated, and it activates into that low back. So nice and strong there. And let's connect breath with some movement. So we're doing inhales to reach our arms up. Exhales to pull the hands down through heart. 
coming back to center. Inhale, reach it up nice and tall. If you want a little more, you can start to look up. Exhale, pull the hands down. You can just tuck the chin, or you can really exaggerate the motion, trying to get that back bend in. And exhale, almost into that forward fold, kind of like a seated cat cow, warming up through the spines, but ultimately, main goal is arms and shoulders. So make sure at least we got those moving, whether you want to be very engaged or just slightly engaged. Beautiful. We'll take just a few more here. Warm it up so good. Let's inhale, reach up and hold. Bring the hands to touch. Maybe come to steeple, having the pointer fingers reaching up, the rest of the fingers grasping on to the opposite hand. Take a nice big inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, engage that core. And let's tip over towards the left, reaching nice and tall. Keep that top arm spinning open to feel that openness. Maybe the gaze even goes upwards. That'll force that shoulder to open. Holding here, nice and strong. Feel that core. If you've come to that tipping point where that right leg is starting to float up, take a moment, press it in. Nice and strong. And let's come all the way back up. Reach up nice and tall. Take that big inhale breath. Exhale, nice and engaged. And over towards the right. Reaching over, maybe the gaze goes up, rolls that left shoulder open. Feeling that nice and light, finding that tipping point maybe. Really pressing the legs in so strong. Beautiful, keep reaching those arms. And one more big breath. And on that exhale, let's come all the way up. Reach it up, bring the hands to heart center. Great work. Inhale, reach it up nice and tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Beautiful. Pressing the hands in, starting to activate, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Pressing into the arms, nice and strong through there. And relax the shoulders, relax the arms. Reach for opposite knee. Other hand extends nice and long and spins around. Maybe plants back behind you like a second spine. Take that inhale breath, get as tall as possible. And that exhale, start to maybe twist a little deeper. Feeling that beautiful rotation through the vertebrae, maybe all the way from the bottom, going up. Maybe you roll that shoulder back a little more. Maybe the gaze goes behind you. Feeling that twist all the way through the neck. Take a nice big inhale and lengthen. Exhale, maybe twist a little deeper. Nice big inhale. And on that exhale, let's untwist. We can come on back towards center. Beautiful, let's reach now for opposite knee. Opposite hand reaches out and spins all the way around. Maybe planting behind you right by that tailbone. Take that nice big inhale, get nice and tall. And exhale, start to twist a little more. Maybe you're just rolling that shoulder back. I'll talk you through this as I try to adjust the lighting. Because <sighs> I was crazy. Beautiful. Take a nice big inhale. Lengthen a little bit more through the spine. And exhale, maybe you press into those hands. <sighs> there we go. To twist a little deeper, maybe gazing over that back shoulder. Beautiful. One more nice big inhale, finding all of that length, and exhale back towards center. Beautiful. Let's switch the feet. So, opposite foot on top or in front. Playing around now with that non-dominant side. So maybe even sitting here, you notice just how different things are. Make sure you're sitting in your sits bones. Maybe you need to give yourself a little wiggle. And I'm gonna start this by placing my hands on my knees. And I'm really, I'm just gonna come in. I'm gonna try to keep my shoulders square towards the front and coming around in a couple little circles. So I like the hands on the knees because as I go back, it's a nice anchor point. Coming around, trying to stay square. So notice, are you twisting? And keep those shoulders towards the front. And this is warming up all those muscles. I think there's 36 muscles that connect in at the pelvis, at the hips. And doing these nice little circles gets them all. How crazy. Not an official yoga move, but a very good move. Next time you get to the front, let's switch the opposite directions. 
So this works that low back. If you've got a sore low back, this works the sides and the front. So good. Let's take one more in this big circle. And find your center point. Roll those shoulders back and down and connect in with the breath. So inhale, reach it up nice and tall. Exhale, hands to heart. One more, reach it up. Pull it down. Beautiful, actually that was good. One more on top of the one more. Reach up nice and tall, interlace the fingers again. And let's step over towards the right first. Mm, feeling that nice reach, extend the arms nice and long. Take a nice big inhale and lengthen, then exhale, drop that bottom arm down. Maybe you're just tenting the fingers, maybe the hand plants. Open up that left shoulder, reach maybe a little farther. If that shoulder is sore, always just drop the hand behind the head. If you want a little more, maybe add a little pulse in. You'll start to feel that through the left side body, through the hip. Beautiful. If you like the stillness, you're welcome to hang out there, but... I think the pulsing is good. A little more active stretch. Mm, all right, one more big breath. Really reach it. Press into that bottom hand. Come all the way back up. Interlace the fingers. Reach it nice and tall. And over towards the left. Feel that nice reach. Open it up. Roll that top shoulder open. Take that big inhale and lengthen. Feel really grounded here. And exhale, drop that bottom arm down. Coming into your depth, maybe one side is different. My right side is my really tight side, but this side I can go a little bit more on. Maybe you're adding that pulse in, or enjoying the stillness. Nice little warm up all throughout the body, so good. One more nice big inhale, maybe really reaching, and exhale, press into that bottom hand, come all the way back up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Let's bring the soles of the feet to touch. Maybe your feet are really far away from your sits bones, so it'll make it easier. And if there's lots of height um, between your knees and the ground and you're not liking that ace, try adjusting the distance to make it farther. Or B, you can always grab a couple pillows or blocks underneath. If you're looking for more challenge, the feet come closer towards the body, so whether you're hanging up up here, maybe that's not what you want, walk it out so you can get a little more depth. So find that sweet spot for you, that equal balance of gravity opening up through the knees and the hips. Take a nice big inhale and lengthen. Option to either hold on at the knees or the ankles or even cup the feet. And with a nice flat back, let's start to bow forward. So even if you come just a millimeter or a centimeter, maybe a full on inch. As you start to bow forward, you can adjust your hands. Nice flat back, so leading with the heart. Imagine that beam of light shooting through that heart center. Nice big inhale to lengthen and exhale. Maybe you deepen, feeling that nice pull through the inner thighs. If you want a little more, you can activate into the feet, pressing the feet together. That just makes that next level. Or you can keep this as a nice stretch and keep the legs a little bit more relaxed. <sighs> Beautiful. Start to press on up, come on up, and let's make our way into our all fours position. So maybe you roll right over onto hands, and knees, stacking hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. You can nice inhale breath, start to look up, drop the belly down, feel that nice back bend. Exhale, tuck the chin, round to the spine, come into that angry cat. Maybe like you used to draw in elementary school for Halloween. Inhale, start to look up, drop the belly down. If you want a little more from this, press into the hands and extend through the crown of the head. Really big, really exaggerate it. And exhale, round to the spine. Press it in really good. If you want more, press into the hands here. Really push those shoulder blades up. So moving at your own pace, with your own breath. I know I like to do these really slow. They feel really magical to me. They must release endorphins. <sighs> or something. Because I just love these. I used to get so annoyed when yoga teachers would do these in every class. I'm like, come on, I'll throw those stretches. And now I'm like, oh, I get it. All right, let's make our nice flat tabletop. I'm coming to neutral. 
Take a big inhale, breath lengthen through the crown of the head. Make sure those fingers are spread out nice and wide. Lots of room to stabilize. <sighs> Exhale, pull the belly button in. And right toes go back, touch them down onto the mat. Roll that hip down. Build some awareness there. Walk the left fingertips forward. You can have them tented on the ground. No expectation for you to lift through the hands or even the feet. You're welcome to hang out here and simply work on lengthening through the body, maybe activating through the back line of the body. You want a little calf stretch, you can imagine getting that heel down. Or if you do want a little more, make sure that core is engaged. You can lift the foot up so you can simply hang out here. Keep rolling that right hip down, toes pointing down. More still, left hand reaches up. Keep that chin nice and tucked. Beautiful tiger pose. Keep reaching out through the fingers, kicking through the heel. Excellent. Simply just holding here, feeling all that your body needs to do to stabilize, to engage. So good. Let's take three little crunches, elbow towards knee, or knee to nose if your hand is down. They don't have to come to touch, just making that motion, kicking it out, being nice and long. Here's our second one. Elbow to knee or knee to nose, reach it out. Last one. Beautiful, reach it out nice and strong. And drop the hand, drop the knee. Take a little sway from side to side to release or you can shake out the wrists if you're not used to having weight in your wrists. Also, if your knee is bugging you, you can always fold your mat or prop up a knee. That's super common, so if you need to do that, you're not alone. I've got a super thick mat, so I've got lots of squish to work with. All right, find your stillness. Make sure those fingers are nice and wide, nice flat back. So not scooping down, activate into that low back. And the left toes go back. I'm touching them down into the mat, roll that left hip down. Maybe walk right fingertips forward. Take a moment, engage that core. Big exhale breath, lift the foot, roll that left hip back down, toes still pointing down. And if you want more, left hand reaches up, thumb goes up. Reaching forward, chin is nice and tight, lengthen, lengthen. Feel all of that space being created right through the shoulders, the fingertips, out through the heel. And three little crunches, elbow towards knee. Not coming to touch, reach it out. I know I said earlier, this is my no crunch class, but these are good. This is like sitting on your back doing crunches. Beautiful, reach it out and hold. Take that little moment, feel that length, feel that strength. Drop the hand down, drop the knee. Beautiful sway from side to side. Or whatever you need to do to release, you can shake with the hands. I like this sway, it feels good on my hips. Beautiful. Alright, find your stillness. Bring the knees a little bit wider, maybe even back distance apart, and come into your child's pose. So aim one sitting back towards the feet, they obviously don't have to come to touch. So walk your hands forward and drop your head down. So even if you're up here like this, this is still a child's pose. Whether you walk it back, all good. Wherever, whatever shape you find yourself in. This is a great one to have kids playing on you, Karina. Actually, if you can get your kids to sit on your on your back, like right here, that is where the money is at. It's like putting a sandbag on your back. So nice. And they never stay there long enough. Not that I know, but the sandbag I know. All right, connecting in. Nice big inhale. Nice full exhale. I'm starting to come up nice and slow. And pressing into those hands, tucking the toes under, making your way into a downward dog. So I like to lean back first, reaching my hands forward, finding that nice straight back, and then lifting my hips up. You can walk your toes in a little closer, you can walk them a little farther away. You can pedal up the feet, that feels really great. Nice stretch and through the calves. If you're in this weird little hunchy position, bend the knees and press into the hands. Simply hang out here. It's gonna be your downward dog. It's like in between a downward dog and a puppy pose. Still working really hard here. And you can still put out the feet here. Excellent. All right, let's look towards the front of the map. Hop, step, jump, tiptoe, waddle, however you wanna make your way right into a forward fold. Hang things down. Drop the head, give it a nice shake. No, not holding any tension through the neck. 
Beautiful. No expectation that the legs are straight. Knees can be bent. You're going to really bend through the knees. Rest the body on the legs to release that low back. Beautiful. Hanging out here. Let's inhale. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, maybe just above the knees, roll those shoulders back and down, extend the head nice and long. Beautiful, bend the knees a little more, sink the hips. Making your way into a little supported chair pose by your hands, planting it, roll the shoulders away from the ears. If you want more, sweep those arms up. Maybe you want a little more, you sit a little deeper. Beautiful, press all the way up to standing, reach that nice and tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach it up, maybe come up onto your tippy toes, reaching it up, marking with a little bit of balance, pressing into the toes, into the feet. Exhale, drop the heels, hands to heart. Bend the knees, sink the hips, and then coming into your chair pose. Beautiful. Pull that belly button in. Notice whoop, how that activates into the low spine. Nice and strong here. And exhale, come down a little lower, and come up about halfway or a little more. Pulsing it out, come on down, use those legs, press into those heels, and up. Last one, come on down, and all the way up. You're going to reach those arms up, exhale, hands to heart. Beautiful, step those right toes back into our warrior two position, so they point towards the long edge of the mat. Bend through that left knee, reach the arms out nice and wide, sink into it. Beautiful. If your arms are tired, you can always bring hands on the hips. You can do the one arm out. And take a little moment, maybe gaze goes forward, looking over the left hand. Take a nice big inhale, it's straighten through the leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, sink back into it. Beautiful, maybe come a little deeper. Keep pressing into the feet. Really take a moment, be nice and strong through the legs, and let the arms and shoulders almost be weightless. Take an inhale to lengthen. Exhale, engage through the core, press into the feet. Let's drop elbow down towards knee, reaching that right hand, maybe up towards the sky, or overhead reaching, <sighs> connecting in with that breath. Nice extended side angle. If you want a little more, you can either bring that knee just to the inside or that elbow to the inside of the knee. Arm can dangle down. Or you can reach down for the ground or a block. Use just a touch more core. A little bit more leg power. All right, pressing into those feet. Let's pull ourselves back up. Give that leg a little break. Straighten and reach the arms up. So nice and tall. Exhale. Sink back into it. Beautiful, nice and strong here. Let's tip the other way. So reaching back behind you, and maybe connects at the hip. You can do the arm a little teapot, which I really like because it actually keeps that left leg bent. Or you can reach the hand down the leg. You can tuck the hand behind the back. Play around with it, let it be fun. Find your joy in the pose. Working nice and hard here through those legs. Take an inhale and lengthen. Exhale, nice and strong. Maybe sink a little deeper. Beautiful. Let's make our way back to our warrior two. Straighten through the leg. Reach the arms up. Reach up nice and tall. And exhale. Just drop the hands down to the hips. And point those left toes pointing towards the long edge of the mat. Getting ready for our wide-legged forward fold. Bring the hands back behind you, either to the small of the back of those Invisible jean pockets. Inhale, lengthen, lift the heart. Then exhale, protecting that low back with the hands with a nice flat back. And start to just bow it forward. Using that nice exhale breath. Pressing into the legs here so legs are not passive. Gentle little tuck of the chin. Still with a nice flat back. Maybe you're hugging those elbows together. And you get a little more through the shoulders. Keep extending long through the crown of the head. Then when you feel like you're at your max, you can release those hands, maybe just pressing them into the legs. You can extend the head nice and long, that feels really good. Or if you want to keep draining down, maybe use a block, a book, reach the hands down. Continue lifting those sit bones up into the air as you continue folding down. Let it feel good. This is just a great stretch. Inner thighs, maybe even hamstrings. Keep pressing that outer edge 
of the feet in towards the mat. Let the head hang nice and heavy. Beautiful little dangle. Maybe give your head a wild shake. Make sure you have crazy hair for when you come back up. Beautiful. So whether your hands are near your hips or on your knees, down your ankles, or even reaching for big toes, let it feel really good. Head is below the heart. This is that nice recovery position. Excellent. All right, let's start to journey on a pathway. So either pressing your hands in towards the floor or even into your legs. Roll those shoulders back and down. Extend the head nice and long. Bring a gentle bend to the knees, sinking the hips down, press into the feet. Come all the way up, reach those arms up. Nice star pose. You can sparkle your star, do a little jazz fingers. Excellent, exhale. Bring the hands down onto the hips. Point left toes forward, coming back into that nice warrior two position. You can reach the arms out, sink into it, and bring the hands to the heart. Nice prayer position. And start to twist towards the left. So at some point here, you're gonna to wanna to hop up on those back toes, transitioning this into more of that high lunge. Beautiful, if you want, you can reach those arms up, sink into it nice and strong. Beautiful, so good. And let's try to step towards the top of your mat. So maybe you need to bring that back foot a little closer and taking a little step first, or with that nice smooth motion, stepping all the way up, planting it down. Inhale, reach it out nice and tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Reach it up nice and tall, a little back one available if you want. Maybe you just keep your head back. Maybe you start to reach back, push those hips forward, and come on back up. Hands to heart. Beautiful. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees, sink the hips, and bow right into a nice forward fold through that little chair position. Drop the head, give it a nice shake, no. So you have the option here to hang out in a forward fold, or we can add a little flow, or downward dog or child's pose. So downward dog or child's pose sounds good to you. Journey with me. Let's inhale halfway up. Extend the head nice and long. Exhale, bend the knees so you can plant the hands in towards the mat. Take that nice big step back, either into your downward dog, or you can drop the knees back into that child's pose. Or option to flow. So if you want to flow, we're coming into a nice plank position. You can drop the knees down and exhale. Elbows grease the ribs as you lower down towards the ground. Take a little back bend. Extending the head, maybe pressing into those hands, roll the shoulders away from the ears. And maybe you move through your tabletop back into a downward dog. So good. I love doing flows and sets of two. I have no idea why, but I'm going to do another one. Totally optional for you. Beautiful. So good. Excellent. Leaning back and down your dog. So if you're in that child's pose, come on back up. Let's look towards the front of the mat. Hop, step, jump, or tiptoe. Into that forward fold. So good. Let's inhale, halfway lift. Extend the head nice and long. Pressing the hands maybe just above the knees. Really find that length. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Finding your main chair. Sweep those arms up. Let's make inhale and lengthen, exhale, engage. Beautiful, maybe sink a little lower, pressing into the feet, press all the way up to standing. Reach up nice and tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach it up nice and tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Bend the knees, sink the hips. And come on down into your chair pose. Engaging through the core, activating that low back. So pulling that belly button in. Let's take our three little pulses. So inhale, coming up a bit. Exhale, coming down as low as you want. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Last little lower. Come on, you can do it. Work it hard and press all the way up to standing. 
and reach the arms up nice and tall, take a big stretch. Exhale, hands to heart. Beautiful, step those left toes back. Coming into that nice warrior two. I'm gonna switch my feet, so now this is the front of my mat, so my back's not towards you. Taking a moment, bending through that right knee. Usually if your heel is in line with the arch of your back foot, that's some pretty good alignment. Making it work wherever you are, hands on the hips, or reaching out, gaze goes towards the right. Take a moment, sink into it. Press into the feet, nice and strong. Engage those inner thighs, little tuck of the pelvis, pulling that belly button in. Beautiful. Let's straighten through the leg. Reach up. Exhale, back into your warrior two. Beautiful. Notice, are these low ribs puffing out? And can you pull them in? Find that nice control. Excellent, strong elbow down onto the knee, left hand hangs out on hip, or reaches up, or even goes overhead. Mm, right arm can hang out on the knee, beside the knee, or reaching down for the ground. Keep pressing into the legs though. Notice how you start to straighten. Let's really activate, bending through the right leg. Reach it up and long through the crown of the head. So good. Beautiful, start to use the strength of the legs, pressing in, maybe that bottom arm just starts to dangle. Not really needed, and you're using your legs to bring you back up. A beautiful warrior two. Straighten through the leg, give that leg a nice little break. Reach it up nice and tall. Exhale. Back into our warrior two. Beautiful bend through that right leg, pressing into the outer edge of those left toes. Let's flip right palm up and tip things back behind us, either on the hip, tracking down the leg, or back behind you, reaching, reaching, sinking into that leg, so good. Find that strength. Big inhale, exhale, sink, nice and strong. <sighs> Beautiful, let's undo this. Warrior two, and then straighten through that front leg. Hands come down onto the hips. Right toes spin towards that long edge of the mat. You can adjust the deck. Stance either closer or farther apart. Inhale, length and get nice and tall. Exhale, bring the hands behind the back to those invisible pockets. Tuck the elbows behind you, lifting the heart on a big inhale breath. Exhale. And start to with control, hinge at the hips, bowing forward, protecting that low back. Nice flat back. Beautiful. Maybe you release the hands down the legs. Maybe you just drop that head down. Keep trying to lengthen through the spine though and feel that hinge from the hips. Send those sits bones a little higher up. Give that head a nice shake. No. Playing around with this one. Maybe instead of just letting your hands hang out on the legs, maybe use the legs to anchor, having a gentle bit of resistance, maybe that opens up through the shoulders, or even adds a little more depth into the pose, into the shape. Beautiful, so good. If you want, you can add a little bend to one knee, and then shift your weight to that other side, and bend towards the opposite side. Nice way to add a little variation into the stretch. So good. Excellent. All right, come back to your stillness, pressing into the feet. Let's come up halfway, starting to lift the head up, roll those shoulders back and down, pressing firm into the feet, gentle bend on the knees, hips sink down, head pops up and press on in, reach it up. Beautiful exhale, hands to heart. Bring those right toes pointing towards the long edge of the mat. And maybe come back into that warrior two just for a quick moment, just to feel that extra bit of stretch. Hands to heart, and then that twist towards the right. Hopping off on those back toes. Beautiful, if you want, you can reach it up in that nice high lunge position. Right hip keeps rolling back. Maybe you sink into it. Exhale, release the hands, and then take a nice big step towards the top of the mat. So good. 
I'm gonna step back so I don't smack my head on the table. And let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach it up. A little back bend's available if you want it. Starting nice and easy, maybe just tipping the neck back, opening up through the throat, or pushing those hips forward. So good. Come on back up and hands to heart. Bend the knees, same hips. I'm coming into a quick little chair, but just so we can fold forward and drop the head down into that nice little forward fold. Let's inhale halfway up. Everyone journeying together. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, take that step back. Option is child pose or downward dog, or two little flows. So your flow is coming to your plank position. You can drop those knees down. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, do the little yogi push up. Pressing into the hands, extending the head, making the nice little back bend, feeling the pelvis pressing in. And then tucking the toes, ah, pushing back to that nice downward dog. Beautiful, so good. Either holding here for a nice breath, or taking your child's pose, or taking the last flow, coming to plank. Lowering down. Inhale up. Exhale, back into downward dog. So good. You can pedal up the feet, see how you're feeling now. Make sure those arms are nice and strong. Beautiful, so good. Then let's drop the knees nice and wide, taking a little child's pose. If you are already in your child's pose, you want a little variation. We need to walk the hands uh, towards the left, adding a little side bend in, taking a few breaths. If you walk your hands one direction, maybe hand over hand through neutral, and then over towards the right. A little option, a little variation for your child's pose. Maybe come back towards center. So good. Connecting in with that breath. Take a nice giant inhale. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Press into those hands. And start to come up and make your way into a seated position. I'm gonna sit this way on my mat so I'm able to roll down. I'm sitting with my knees together, still feeling into my system. Roll those shoulders back and down, sit nice and tall. Nice flat back. Back so let's bring the hands underneath the knees. Maybe you can reach on for fingertips. We're gonna use a little strap or just holding on behind the legs. I like this because it pulls the legs in towards the body. Not rounding into this nice flat back here. Maybe you walk the feet a little bit closer towards the body. Excellent. Maybe you find that tipping point where you can float the legs up. This is pretty easy here. The legs, um, or the arms are doing all the work. Core is not working hard here. So your option is to hang out here. Or start to release the hands. Maybe just holding underneath the knees. Roll those shoulders, still lift through the heart. Nice little boat pose. Maybe you have tiptoes down. Maybe you come to that 90 degree angle. Still lifting of the heart here. So nice flat back, feel as nice and strong. If you want a little more, you're releasing hands, reaching forward. Then the higher up your hands go, the more intensity you'll be finding. Same with the straighter the legs go, the more intensity you have there. And simply holding here for three, two, one. You can drop the feet down and roll back onto your backs, or you can go through canoe. So coming back into that nice boat position, reaching the arms out and slowly extending and lowering with control, coming all the way down. Beautiful, landing it. Roll those shoulders back and down. Beautiful, Let's bend the knees and plant the feet. Walk your feet a little bit wider, bring the arms out um, tall like a T or wide like a T. Adjust so that the low back can press in towards the mat. And let the legs nice and slowly just drop towards one side. So I'm going towards the left. It's a gentle little twist on the spine, but it might be a little bit more intensive through the quad, the glute, the back. 
making a little moment. That isn't doing anything you like. You can just stack knee over knee. Coming into a twist that way. What I like this is nice internal rotation on that right hip. A little quad stretch. If you want a little more, you can like press into the feet, rolling a little more onto the left hip. We keep that right shoulder blade planted in. And gaze can go to the right if you want to feel it through the neck, adding in a little neck stretch. That's a nice big inhale. Full exhale, let it go. Return the neck to neutral, always starting with that. And bring the legs back up. And dropping them down towards the other side, moving nice and slow. So you can try the little deer leg twist, or you can just stack knee over knee. Whatever is, whatever is working. I get that the deer leg twist can be a lot, not what you're feeling. You press into those feet, rolling a little more onto that right hip. Gaze can go to the left. <sighs> Connect again with that breath. Let it feel really good. Nice twist. <sighs> Turn the head to neutral. Swing the legs on up. Beautiful. And hug the knees in towards the chest. Feeling that low back pressing in. If you want a little more, if you want to help reset the spine as well, you can reach on through the knees for the feet, the ankles, or even just holding on to the backs of the knees. Roll your head back down, send the feet up towards the ceiling. Knees will draw in towards the body. This is our happy baby pose, our awkward adult pose, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, to help reset the spine, find your stillness. Actively pull into the feet, kick into the hands, and extend the head nice and long. It might even float up. You can feel all of your spine pressing in towards the mat, lengthening, and exhale, soften. You can rock from side to side. You can extend one leg long, or the other, or both legs long. This is now what I like to call the freestyle portion of my class. If there's another pose or movement or creative moment you want to have before settling into our final Shavasana, this is your chance to explore that now. So maybe you want to go back to that waterfall position, beginning of class, look at all that length we created. So good. Reclining cobbler is also really good. Soles of the feet to touch, knees fall open. It's nice in this nice lying down position. Whatever it is, you can just play around in your happy baby. Let it feel good. So nice. And then when you're ready, take your time settling into your final pose. I have no rules for what the final pose looks like. Just anything you're comfy in, that traditional Shavasana or corpse pose. His legs extended long. Feet fall open, that's a nice natural. Shoulders roll back and down, palms face up, keeping that nice openness through the collarbone, a slight tuck in the chin. But if that's not comfortable, if that's not your jam, find what is, find what feels good. I'm liking the knees bent today. Releasing that low back. Picking a moment to scan through the body. How are you feeling now after some movement? Do you notice a difference? If not, can you simply just notice the body? And let's take three nice big breaths that exhale to a big sigh. So getting ready, breathing in nice and deep, breathing into that abdomen. Exhale, let it out. So good. One more nice big inhale. Exhale, release. Feel that softness, that melting into for that. Last one, big breath in. Let it go. Taking your time to simply be in stillness, even if there's chaos happening around you. Take a moment to notice the body, to notice the brain, 
What are your thoughts? How are you feeling? And connecting in with that breath a little more. And this is where I will leave you to take all the time you need for your shavasana. Don't rush it. Let it be good. I won't say too much at the end, so you can simply settle in. I do thank you so much for joining me this morning or re-watching whatever you do. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I pray that it is filled with joy and that you are always blessed. Namaste. Beautiful. Hello.